Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's Mike and Sierra here. Um, today we're going to go over the Max Beth Ethereal Lighting System. Yeah, it's a really cool lighting system. It has all kinds of different features on it. It's 130 watts and it has basically any kind of color spectrum you're looking for. So there's all kinds of different uses there. But uh, let's get right into it. Mike's going to do a demonstration on how to actually use it. Yep. Let's go into that right now. All right. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to set up your lights right from the get-go. So in order to do this, I do have to connect to it first, and since I already have it set up, um, I have to delete my devices first, and then we'll start over. All right, so now, as you can see, I have just two lights, the left light and the right light. So I just clicked on the light by accident. So what I'm going to do is now I'm only selected to the left light. I'm going to go to Devices, and I'm going to click on the button up at the top right, and this basically here is going to make a new group. So I'm going to call these Lights. I'm going to select them both, because I have two lights, and now there is a group. So now I'm going to select Lights, and you'll see on the bottom corner at the right here um, that we're going to be connected to two lights. Alright so now that our lights are connected I'm going to show you a little bit more uh, about the app. So the photo period uh, basically is a control where it gives you a control more like this. So this is not on a time schedule, this is not on your it's not going to give you a sunrise or sunset, this is just if you want to take photos um, or videos of your tank and you want to have it set to a perfect light setting that isn't going to shift. Um, so this means if you want to take photos outside of your of your time 24 hour schedule um, it gives you that ability to do it uh, easily without having to go back and reprogram everything in for your lights which is really cool. So now I'm going to show you the day and nighttime mode, the 24 hour mode. Okay, so in here, I'm going to have to make a new period. So my first one, I'm going to leave this at midnight, and I'm going to add the next one at 3 o'clock in the morning. So I want my lights to start turning off at 3 o'clock in the morning. So... I'm going to put this one here at 55, I'm going to put this one here at 35. Uh, I have to go back to the first one and do the exact same thing. So 55 and 35. This is my first point, my second point here. Now I'm going to create a third one. Now at 3.30, I would like my lights to turn off. So I'm going to change my time points, put it down there. And I'm going to add another one. Now, I want my lights to turn on at, I'd say, about 3.30 in the afternoon. So, I'm going to start it at 3 o'clock. And come 3.30, I would like my lights to go back up to 55% and back up to 35%. 35%. So this here is now my photo period. Um, I have it set up so every day it's going to stay on this exact same cycle. And uh, yeah, it, it's really cool to be able to do this. So what I'm going to do is hit the check mark down at the bottom right. This here is going to apply the photo period to my lights. My lights just turned on, um, as you've seen from the video. And it's very simple to set up. It's already done. Now the only other thing here I really need to show you is the boot lighting. So up at the top of the tank, um, I could change the light. I could put it to red, I could put it to blue, pretty much any colors that I want. 
Um, I can also put it to a demo mode where it just cycles and changes lights, but there's no need to annoy the fish with that. Um, we'll just put it back to its normal sun daylight. And uh, our fish really likes it at night. If, you don't, if you're not using the uh, other channels for the moonlighting, this here does a really good job just uh, illuminating your tank enough to keep them so it's not going to spook them if you were to turn on the light um, in your fish room or whatnot. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start a test on the light for heat. I have this probe here, which is stuck into the side of the unit. So this is in an internal temperature. It's right now at 27 degrees. And the outside top probe, which is this one, is sitting at 24 degrees. So what I'm going to do is max up the lights on all 100% on the channels. And let's see how warm this actually gets. So under five, or five minutes, the light, the uh, fan kicked on here. Let's see if it does anything to the temperatures. I can already see the temperatures dropping. 38.9, it was over 40. I can see the top temperature, and I can actually feel a draft uh, from the fan blowing in here too. It's got quite the wind blowing, and all the heat is uh, dispersed pretty quickly. Okay, so we are now an hour into this, and uh, temperatures have actually leveled out at 25 degrees for the top, and 32.6 for the inside, internal. So, I'm very happy with uh, how well this fan is uh, keeping the light cool. Definitely don't have any issues there. Uh, it's a home run. Alright, so now that we did a little bit of testing with it and we showed you how to actually use the app, let's go ahead and give you our final thoughts on the unit overall. Yeah, um, so I'm really happy with uh, how powerful the, the unit is with 130 watts uh, coming out of each one of those lights um, and the spectrum that it can hit, that's just uh, absolutely awesome. Yeah, it actually covers a really large area. It'll do a two feet by two feet area, um, but realistically with that you'll actually be able to get a little bit more. Uh, with the coverage you probably could go up to 30 inches so it's a very powerful light for for especially for the size size so yeah um, one cool thing too is just the overall look of the light the, the light looks beautiful um, I, I like it I, <laughs> it's pretty bad but yes I think the light looks beautiful um, especially with the fan and the mood lighting on top um, it's just it it looks beautiful I gotta say, I'm a little bit jealous of it, but uh, I, I do like the mood lighting too. It's a really cool feature. It's a really low light kind of effect where at night it just allows you to see your fish and it comes in practically any color you want to do. Yeah, uh, and with the mood lighting like that as well, um, like I said before, it's really cool that you can turn on the light and your fish don't just jump because they're startled. There is still some light in the tank, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, and like overall when you're using it, it's a very natural lighting uh, with the tank. Uh, you have pretty well every spectrum you want, so very versatile in that sense where we'll be able to use it for our, I mean, our current freshwater. We'll be able to go plant it or even go down the reef path. Um, and we have all the required spectrums to do it. The blues, the whites, the yellows, pretty well any color you need. Yeah, and one of the coolest things I like is definitely the photo period mode where it allows me to just take full control of my light and set it for whatever video lighting condition I need it for. And that is real cool and handy to have. It also goes the same for the 24 hour period where you can manually set that up. Um, that's definitely some big brownie points for the light. It's, it's overall, it's just amazing. Yeah, and the uh, ICV6 controller itself, that's the uh, wireless unit, so that you're able to get, you can operate the unit on its own. Um, I like it personally with the wireless unit, that's what gets you the app, but it allows you actually to connect up to 99 different devices, which is a pretty good number, and uh, for most people that's going to cover their fish room. Oh yeah, 99 lights, uh, especially if you only have one per tank, uh, that's a lot of fish tanks, that's a lot of water changing too. Yeah, and, and with the MaxSpec products, they actually have the gyre as well, which is like their power head or wave maker, so that's actually controlled with this, uh, that, that can actually be controlled with the ICV6 too, which is really neat. Yeah. Alright, so overall, what do you think of the light? Are you impressed? It really more than exceeds my expectations. Uh, it's really been awesome. It's going to be something that we have for years to come.
Uh, yeah, and so we do have some PAR testing um, that MaxSpec put out, so I'm going to put the link for that. And since we didn't really show too much marine stuff, I am going to show you a couple preset uh, settings, and we're just going to run one through uh, for the end here. So I really do hope that you enjoyed this video, and you guys have yourself a great day. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.